What a crude way to refuse my generous offer. Oh. I feel the wind coming from the west. It is the breath of war. There is one other solution, my king. There is one other solution. <laughs> Alexander, can I have a word with you, please? Of course, Father. A runner delivered a message from Aristotle. Is something wrong? Your mentor. You know, he says, well, he says that your studies are, are complete. Apparently, you are the best student, the best student he's ever taught. Does that mean I'm forgiven for throwing that lying worm of Xiathras into the Aegean? I forgive you for that before we even reached the harbor. I'm so proud of you, son. Now I know you'll be prepared for all that destiny has in mind for you, even when I'm not around. But you will always be around, right, father? As long as you feel the wind in your hair, know your father is nearby. <laughs> ha! The last one to the hey. is the dirty dog's tail! Ha! Ah. Ha! Oh! Faster! Faster! Kill me? Are you suddenly afraid of heights? Hey. Come on, we're gonna lose the race! Hey. Mm, move! Uh. Let's catch him! Uh. Come on, let's go! Let's go! Hephaestion, how long's it been? My dear, dear friend. Years. Look at your lion's mane. Does the king of Macedon have no one in his court to cut his locks? He does. It's just... I, I want to feel the wind in my hair. Besides, I'm not a king, for I won't accept the crown. Your people need you. Greece needs you. My father needed me, and look what happened. There is only one way to make up for it. Ascend the throne of Macedon and carry your father's reign. I don't want to be king. You were born to be king. It is your destiny. I make my own destiny. I wonder how Achilles would act. Would he allow grief to conquer his heart? Or would he take the king's scepter and carry it further than any other man to honor his father and humble the gods? Alexander, I hereby crown you King of Macedonia. A soldier found this dagger in the debris at the foot of the bridge. The blade is clean and shiny. Someone must have left it there not too long ago. The person who cut the ropes that held the bridge.
The hilt bears a crest. Darius, by Zeus, I will kill Darius with his own dagger. And on his own land. That bastard will pay for it. Bah! Free your land of the pest that is Darius, and all of Greece will be grateful. The scent of warm sun rays on yellow poppy flowers was delighting my nose. Uh, 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 <laughs> Here I was, sitting on a hard and cold rock, pondering the news of war, Alexander's War. Ooh, ah. Greetings! Will you allow me to pass without a fight? Fight? I don't want to fight. No, 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 You're a no smart fight. warrior, then. For I think you are outnumbered, don't you? I'm not a warrior, my lord. I'm a writer. A historian, to be precise. My name is Callisthenes. I've heard of you, Callisthenes. You have? Of course, you're Aristotle's nephew, the troublemaker. Yes, I've heard of you. Troublemaker? Me? I make no trouble. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, no trouble at all. <laughs> my, 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 my uncle sent me to join you to, to, uh, to record your heroic quest for Darius in every gruesome detail, so the world would always remember the glorious life and times of one Alexander the Great. Uh, 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 the Great. <laughs> Alexander the Very Great. Great. Hmm. Yes, I really like the sound of that. You're a good writer, Callisthenes. You will do fine. Feel free to follow my trek. Hop! Uh, excuse me. Um, bye! Uh, oh, oh, oh. Hold still, please. <laughs> Oxyatris, is that you? Oh, no. Tell me, did our plot work? Did the death of Philip bring Greece to her knees? Uh, not quite, oh brother, my king. I bring bad news, my lord. The son of Philip has assembled an army. He is bound for Persia. The look in your eyes tells me he's not coming to hand over his gold. He's coming for you, my lord. For me? <laughs> what do you suggest, great warlord of Rhodes? Shall I welcome the little scoundrel with wine, or is he too young to drink? I suggest we destroy all crops and towns along the coast before the Macedonian king reaches our land. This will cut off his supplies and force him to return home. Don't call him a king, he's a boy! A very stupid boy at that, if he thinks he can start a feud with me. <laughs> I don't think he wants to start a feud. I think he wants to start a war. I'm certainly not going to scorch my own land, so some spoiled prince won't step on it. Take a legion of my army and stifle this petty uprising. I don't want to see one Greek footprint on my beautiful beach. <laughs> 